Hi, I'm John Brewster from The Angels, and you're listening to The Australian Rock Show. Hi, this is Chris Bonacci, and you're listening to The Australian Rock Show. Hello, this is the dulcet tones of Mick Blood from The Line of Spiders, and you're listening to The Australian Rock Show. This is Jess Finlayson, and you're listening to The Australian Rock Show. Hey, everyone. This is Johnny Cannis, and you're listening to Dennis and The Australian Rock Show across Australia and across the world. Yeah, up. Hey folks, it's Dennis Gray and it is show number 94 of the Australian Rock Show. As always, thanks for tuning in and checking us out. We really do appreciate it. Got quite a lengthy show for you all on this one where we are going to crank a whole bunch of new or recently released material which we've been sent and which everyone needs to be aware of. And man, oh man, we are going to kick this particular show off in the coolest possible way. So listen up. As you'll be aware by now, we are massive, massive fans of Hitmen DTK, a band who many of you know formed, of course, from the ashes of Radio Birdman four decades back and really are one of this country's most influential and iconic rock and roll outfits. If you've seen them live in the past 12 months or so, you'll know that this rejuvenated lineup are indeed firing on all cylinders. The exciting news is, folks, that following on from their mini album titled Six Pistols, which they released earlier this year, Hitman DTK have a brand new song titled Get Up, which they are launching this weekend via a couple of special gigs in Sydney. I'll mention those gigs in a moment, but before I do, I'm excited to announce that we've got our hands on a copy of the new single, and we're going to crank that for you right here and right now. Time to hit that volume. It's a world premiere, folks, for the first time anywhere. Here is the brand new single from the mighty Hitman DTK with the track Get Up. For the first time anywhere, that's Hitman DTK with their new single titled Get Up. I dig that. How great does that sound? Dancing time? You'd better believe it, people. Super catchy with an anthem-like chorus as well. Get up, get up, get down, folks. Of course, that just plain rocks. Caught up with those guys recently at Johnny Cannis' birthday bash. The band also performed that evening and crashed the stage like a hurricane. Damn good. As I've said elsewhere, this new lineup, which includes Vince Cascuna, really have the fire in their belly at the moment. And by the sound of Get Up, they've managed to capture that newfound energy in the studio as well. Still fighting the war against the jive and doing it better than most others. If you want to get a hold of the new single, head to hitmendtk.com and purchase your copy there. And as I said earlier, they have a big weekend of live rock and roll this coming weekend in Sydney to launch the single. Friday the 1st and Saturday the 2nd of June. Both nights are at the Lead Belly in Newtown. Friday night supports are the Four Stooges, Black Heartbreakers and the Evil Twin. Saturday night, be sure to get there early to catch the Conspirators, Mushroom Planet and the Black Heartbreakers. That's at the Lead Belly in Newtown, 42 King Street. So be sure to get along and show your support for the mighty Hitman DTK. I note that later in the month, they are on the bill with the baby animals at the Taraji Beach Hotel in Wollongong, which will be a great evening of loud rock and roll. Again, hitmendtk.com for more info. Oh, and check out show number 78, by the way, where we had Johnny Cannis on the show for an extensive chat. Now, before we get into it, I must make mention of the passing of the great Phil Emanuel, who sadly left us on the 24th of May at 65 years of age. Many folks have written tributes to him online. He really was an absolute master of the electric guitar. And in this day and age where the word legend is quickly handed out, Philip Ernest Emanuel was, and indeed is, just that, a legend. Let's pay tribute to him by airing something off the 1995 album he cut with his brother Tommy, titled Terra Firma. But before we do, I'll share a quote which Glenn A. Baker wrote about him some years back, which states, Phil's musical prowess is so astonishing that there are times when the man becomes the guitar and the guitar becomes the man. His passion is illuminating. His ability is breathtaking. While his brother Tommy plays it sweet, Phil plays it from the street. R.I.P. Phil Emanuel, burning through an ACDC medley there with his brother Tommy, He leaves behind an incredible body of recorded work, which will be discovered by future generations of music fans who, like so many of us, will be mesmerised by his enormous talent. 
All right, what's next? This one has been out a little while, and I'm sure some of you have already heard it. But for those who haven't, here are the Lazies, an outfit who have been on the scene for about 10 years or so now, originally hailing from the New South Wales Central Coast, now based in Canada, and a band with a lot of momentum. Here are the Lazies with the track, Nothing But Trouble. I dig that. That's the Lazies with Nothing But Trouble. I heard their debut EP some years back, which was really raw and showed lots of potential. From memory, they cut another EP titled Temptation Never Liked You, which was also really, really good. But that single, I'm sure you'll agree, is damn impressive. And it's lifted off the current release titled Tropical Hazards. These guys have long been road warriors and have that hard work ethic made famous by so many other iconic Australian rock outfits instilled in them. I've seen a few punters online say that Tropical Hazards is going to be their album of the year and it's easy to see why. The album is out now via Golden Robot Records. You can find them on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the lazies official. Folks, we'd better keep the amps turned up as we go back to back with a couple of tracks off the new album by Bitzer titled Pedigree Mongrel. Bitzer is essentially a gathering of some of Australia's rock and roll royalty. Steve Mullery, Mick Arnold, Lucy DeSoto, Steve King, Mick Adkins, Skeeny, Mick O'Shea and Steve Edmonds. This is the second outing for Bitzer after 2013's Oz Rock Six Pack on Pedigree Mongrel. They pay homage to some of this country's most iconic songs and breathe new life into some wonderful and well-known tunes. I reviewed this recently on our YouTube channel and it's just so damn good. The album is out June the 15th, so let's get you all in the mood with a couple of tracks. Here are Bitsa burning through some easy beats and ACDC tunage. A faithful and tough as steel rendition there of ACDC's Bad Boy Boogie. Vocals by Skeeny from The Poor, how great does that sound? So great that I'm calling this one of the most faithful takes of Bad Boy Boogie that you're going to hear. Of course, before that we heard Bitzer running through the Easy Beats 1969 song St. Louis, Vander and Young at their very, very best. That version of St. Louis featured Steve Mulry on vocals, Mick Atkins on guitar, Steve King on bass and Mick O'Shea on drums. Planning on getting Mick O'Shea on the show soon. The guy's such a great drummer with a wonderful rock and roll resume and I'm looking forward to getting that show happening in the very near future. Bitzer, Pedigree Mongrel, 10 tracks. It's out June the 15th. They also do ripping takes by Dragon, The Angels, Chain, Spectrum, Alison McCallum and Australian Crawl. This is just the kind of stuff we dig and if you're a loyal listener of this podcast, I know you're going to love this album too. Facebook.com forward slash Bitsa Oz Rock. Love it. Okay, got sent the new album recently from Adelaide metal outfit Matterhorn, which is titled Crimes of Man. As someone who was raised on classic heavy metal, I reckon I know a great tune when I hear one. And folks, this band kicks major ass. Actually, the whole album is superb and one you should make an effort to search out. I've been cranking the hell out of the single lifted off this album and am sold. Why don't we hear some loud riffage, Matterhorn style, with the track Memory of the Guilty. Matterhorn there with the track Memory of the Guilty, which is lifted off their debut album Crimes of Man. I've had that album on high rotation in the car and there's some great songs on there. That tune we just heard, Memory of the Guilty, is just one of them. Check out their video online for that song which was filmed at Adelaide Jail. There's other tunes like Children of the Sun and The Riff which are well written and damn impressive. Heavily influenced by Dio, Judas Priest and 1980-81 era Sabbath which is fine by me. The material is strong, the playing top notch and be in no doubt... Crimes of Man by Matterhorn is a record that is world class. I see they have the Adelaide support for the Iron Maidens, which is this Saturday the 2nd of June at Fowler's Live. So be sure to get there early and support a great band who are out there doing great things. Matterhorn.com.au. Go discover them now. I hope you are all enjoying this extended show. There's just so much great music being released recently. We get sent lots of material, and on this episode, we're cranking some of it. It goes without saying that if you're digging something which you've heard on this current show, or indeed any of our episodes, be sure to chase down and purchase the product. Respect the artist, buy the music. I can recall in the mid-80s, tuning into Steve Murray's heavy metal radio show 
on Triple R in Sydney. Hearing stuff by the likes of Striper, TT Quick, Motorhead, then heading into Utopia Records, who were then located at Martin Place in the city and buying the records. Same principle still applies now, folks. If you hear it and dig it, buy it. Rightio, now we got sent a song recently by Newcastle outfit Tratica, which had me hooked about 10 seconds in. I like it a lot. I'll give you some band info after we hear it. Keep that volume up nice and loud, folks, as we hear something from Tratica with their song titled Liar. Love, love, love that. Big infectious chorus, stinging guitars, catchy as all hell. The intro sounded a little like the 1983 Kiss track Exciter, which sounds fine to these ears. That's an outfit named Tratica with their song titled Liar. And it's lifted off their EP Ride to Live, Live to Ride, which came out some time back. This band hail from Newcastle, formed from the ashes of another outfit called Vicious Cycle, and as is noticeable on that track, have a ripping guitarist in their ranks named Tony Camillo. They play a solid brand of hard rock, and I note that they gig regularly up and down the Newcastle area, in fact, all over the north coast region of New South Wales, cranking out a mix of covers and originals. So if you like that track, Liar, and dig hard rock, Check them out online at facebook.com forward slash Tratica official and be sure to go see them live. That is T-R-A-T-A-K-A. Liar gets two thumbs up from me. Sunday the 8th of July, they're on at the Beach Coma Hotel in Tookley. Saturday the 4th of August, you can get along to Newcastle's Black Butt Hotel to see Tratica. Two weeks later, which is Saturday the 18th of August, they're on at the Metropolitan Hotel in Maitland. You might want to also check out the video which Tratica cut for Liar. A local company called Finger Focus Films held a music video competition with Tratica and that particular song Liar beating out over 200 other entrants which earned them a slickly produced video clip. Again, go check it out online. It's good stuff. Rightio, what's next? Why don't we crank something from one of my favourite Sydney outfits, the loud and very powerful Lily. They've got a brand new full length album out which has just been released and from it we're going to take a listen to the song Through My Soul. Featuring the dynamic and powerhouse vocals there of Virginia Lily, that is Sydney outfit Lily with Through My Soul, lifted off their cracking new album titled Evolve. Played this outfit back on show number 44, and since that time, they've evolved into one finely tuned rock and roll outfit. I've read a few obvious comparisons to Virginia and her outfit, like Hart and also Joan Jett, but to be honest, Lily are hard to categorise and, in fact, need no comparisons or to be pigeonholed. The album is littered with superior sounding tunes, and I, in fact, had a hard time selecting just one tune to play, changing my selection for this episode a couple of times. The album is called Evolve, the band are called Lily, and I reckon if the cards fall their way, they could bust onto the mainstream scene in a mighty big way. Again, world class. Gig dates, merch, band info, if you want to buy the album, head to lily.net, L-I-L-L-Y-E dot net. All right, now, quite recently, we got sent the new EP from the Rose Carlio band titled Battle Scars, and it cooks. It's going to be in the running for my release of the year, and you want to know why? Just take a listen to the title track. That's the Rose Carlio band with the title track from their EP titled Battle Scars, classy with a capital C, and in a just world, should be the song which busts it wide open for Rose Carlio and her band. It's really, really infectious. And trust me, folks, 10 seconds in and you're hooked. Songs like this are ones which I always find myself turning up and singing along to. They remind me of why my love of music is so great. More people need to hear this. Long-time listeners of our podcast will remember that we interviewed Rose back on show number 10. So make an effort to listen to that so you can learn more about Rose and her musical journey so far. Rosecarlio.com is the place you need to check out online and you can find them on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Rose Carlio Music. Go see Rose Carlio and her kick-ass band on one of these upcoming dates. This Saturday, the 2nd of June, they're on at the Bald Face Stag in Leichhardt in Sydney. Thursday, the 28th of June, they're on at Frankie's Pizza in the city. Saturday, the 30th of June, they're on at the Bridge Hotel in Roselle. And finally, on Sunday, the 22nd of July, you can go and see the Rose Carlio Band at the Wickham Park Hotel in Newcastle.
why don't we turn it down a notch and play something hot off the press from classy Melbourne outfit The Grapes, who are comprised of Ash Naylor and Sherry Rich. I rate their two albums, 1999's self-titled release and 2013's Western Sun, very, very highly. Both titles are absolutely essential purchases, and it's wonderful that we have new product from them. Here are the grapes with their brand new song titled Shady Lane. Drenched in melody, that is the grapes out of Melbourne with their delightful new single Shady Lane. Lyrically, it makes you feel like you're in the heart of Melbourne's CBD, does it not? Jangly guitars, super sweet harmonies, these two never, ever disappoint. And if you've never heard of the grapes, Shady Lane is a damn fine introduction. I've known the immensely talented Sherry Rich since her days with Girl Monster, and we had her on the show back on episode number 28, where we looked over her wonderful Sherry Rich and Courtesy Move album. If you live in Melbourne, take note that the Grapes are launching Shady Lane with a gig this Friday the 1st of June at the Spotted Mallard in Brunswick. Doug Robinson, ex-Ice Cream Hands, I think he also played with Sherry in the Grievous Angels from memory, along with Steve Pinkerton, are also performing in the Grapes. So again, if you live in Melbourne, go and see the Grapes this Friday night. Head to thegrapes.com.au for more info on this very classy outfit. Last month, Sydney band The Lockhearts released the album Americana Doom Fuzz and are a band with a buzz around them, currently doing some European gigs with The Lazies. This is an exciting debut album which a lot of folks are digging. Their love of Tyler and Perry slash blues slash 1970s swagger is evident, but don't assume that the album is filled with only rock and roll raunch. Case in point is the track I've chosen for this show. One which, in fact, could be one of the best harmonica rock songs you're going to hear this year. Here are the Lockhearts with London Bound. The Lockhearts there with the enchanting London Bound. Harmonies and harmonica, how can you not dig that? Lifted from their debut album Americana Doom Fuzz, which is available now on iTunes and Spotify. Facebook.com forward slash the Lockhearts or visit thelockhearts.com.au for further details on one of this country's rising rock and roll outfits. Okay, here's another fantastic outfit who've been at it for around 10 years now and are finally making people stand up and take notice. Again, this has been out a little while. The album is called Never Say Die. The band are called Dead City Ruins and the track we're going to hear is called Bones. Melbourne Outfit, Dead City Ruins there with a killer track titled Bones. These guys are indeed another local act who have paid their dues and are indeed road warriors. They channel John Michael Osborne, no doubt, and combine that with a toughness gained from relentless gigging. The result is a fairly formidable rock and roll outfit with a massive sound. Never Say Die is the album. I think you can get it on Purple Wax as well, which is pretty cool. You know, Never Say Die was the final album Aussie cut with Sabbath, an erratic album which featured a guest appearance from legendary keyboardist Don Airy. How cool would it be if someone like Airy teamed up and collaborated with Dead City Ruins on a future track or two? Methinks that a pairing like that could produce some smoking hot rock and roll. Just a thought which popped into my head whilst reviewing this album. This is a big sounding record and gets a nod of approval from me. Facebook.com forward slash Dead City Ruins. Go grab a beer and spin that vinyl copy of Never Say Die good and loud. But remember the name, cause I reckon big things are on the horizon for Dead City Ruins. All right, folks, we got sent the new EP from Sydney Outfit Flickertail recently, which is titled Hurry Up and Wait. I really, really like it. Let's crank that now, and I'll give you some band info straight after. Out now on Golden Robot Records, that's Gritty in a Sydney outfit known as Flickertail, formerly known as The Bitter Sweethearts, with the track Let There Be Love. They formed back in 2012, and among other things, have landed support slots for the likes of the Casanovas, US Outfit Super Suckers, and I think they opened up one of the Buffalo Revisited gigs a while back too. I reckon if you like that single we just played called Let There Be Love, you're also going to dig the first single they released off that EP, which was called Talk. Any band who name check Oasis and Thin Lizzy as influences are fine by me. Facebook.com forward slash Flickertail the band dig it folks we should wrap this show up quite a lengthy episode i know but 
As I mentioned at the start of this show, I wanted to share with everyone some of the amazing new rock and roll tunage which has landed on our doorstep recently. If you're a fan of Australian music and you liked something you heard on this show, contact the artist or the record label, buy the product and of course, tell them you heard it on Australia's loudest and proudest rock and roll podcast. You can contact us via email, australianrockshow at gmail.com, visit our homepage at australianrockshow.com and most importantly, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lots of cool stuff in the works over on our channel, so please jump on board there. Why don't we close out with something from the recently released Rose Tattoo album from 2007, which was titled Blood Brothers. This reissue features smoking live takes of some of the album's strongest tracks, including Black Eyed Bruiser, Once in a Lifetime, Man About Town and more, recorded live and included on the re-release of Blood Brothers. You know, 20 years back, I saw a lineup of Tattoo, which did a run of dates with the Angels, and in the ranks were Anderson, Wells, Cox, Rylan and DeMarco. I wish that particular lineup had have gone into the studio because they were as tough and as loud as hell on the shows I saw. Fantastic memories, great days. Tattoo, of course, are currently doing a run of European dates and I'd sell my soul to be at one of those UK gigs with Girl School slated for September. How amazing will those gigs be? Anyway, folks, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you on the next show, which will not be too far away. Lifted from the recently released Blood Brothers album, here are Rose Tattoo with a track 1854. Until next time, this is Dennis, out.